I was just splitting some wood here. How is that for stating the obvious? Way to start out a video. I was splitting a mixture of hardwood and softwood and got to thinking. I've noticed over the years a lot of people have confusion about the difference between hardwood and softwood. Seems like it should be a simple concept. Hardwood is wood that is hard. Softwood is wood that is soft. But it's not that simple. Actually, it is that simple, but it's simple in a different way that's a little more complicated. One of the things that makes it more complicated than that is some hardwoods are softer than some softwoods. Some softwoods are harder than some hardwoods. For example, balsa wood, known for being very soft, very light. It's actually known for being the softest, lightest, commercially available wood in the world. But even though it's the softest wood, it's actually considered to be a hardwood. Maybe I should pause here for a moment, give people time to put in their arguments in the comments argue with me that no, balsa wood is a softwood, not a hardwood. Before you do that, I suggest you look it up. That might save you from one of those embarrassing moments where you publicly declare something, then later on find out, oh, I was wrong, he was right. That's actually something I would recommend to all keyboard warriors. Look things up before you try to argue with people. Here in the next few minutes, we'll simplify it so you'll be able to easily identify hardwoods and softwoods. We have three pieces of softwood here. Ponderosa pine, incense cedar, and Douglas fir. All three of these have varying degrees of hardness, but what do they all have in common? What they have in common is they are all conifers. Softwoods come from cone-bearing trees like this fir, pine, spruce, hemlock, trees with needles like this fir, pines. I would show you those needles, but they're way up there. Here's one on the ground. Or scale-like needles on this incense cedar where the leaves are actually more like scales than needles. This would include the false cedars, which we call cedars in North America, junipers, some redwood, anything that makes these kind of scale leaves or these kind of needles are conifers. And that is what produces softwoods. Here we have black oak, white oak, madrone, manzanita. Madrone and manzanita might not be the best examples to show because most people probably aren't familiar with them because they only grow in this part of the world. But these are what we have around here for hardwoods. These hardwoods have varying degrees of hardness, but what do they all have in common? What they have in common is they all come from broadleaf trees. Trees like this madrone that have broad leaves. Oaks have broad leaves. These ones, of course, have changed colors because it's winter, and for some reason they haven't fallen off yet. Manzanita has broad leaves. Live oak has broad leaves. Walnut, maple, hickory, birch, aspen, locust, the fruit trees, the nut trees. These are all trees with broad leaves. These are the hardwoods. If you look here, I don't know why I'm telling you to look here because it's not up to you to look here. It's up to me to move the camera so you can look here. I better go move the camera. If it's a tree that has needles or scales, it's softwood. If it's a tree that has broad leaves, it's a hardwood. Hardwood trees generally produce wood that is harder than softwoods, but not always. There are exceptions, like balsa wood, which I mentioned. Eastern red cedar or juniper have scale-like leaves. They are softwoods, but they're a fairly hard wood. Trees like cottonwood and alder are hardwoods. They have broad leaves, but they are a softer hardwood. Soft maple is a softer version of hardwood, but it's still a hardwood. Hardwood and softwood is not so much about the hardness or softness, it's about the different cellular structure. Broadleaf trees produce wood with a different cellular structure than softwood trees. Even though cottonwood and alder are somewhat of a soft wood, they have a similar structure to other hardwoods. It's much different to that of softwoods. Broadleaf trees are also called angiosperms. Angiosperms are the flowering plants, plants that produce seeds that are enclosed or encased inside of a fruit. This would include the fruit and nut trees. Those enclosures are not always as visually obvious as fruit and nuts, but the seeds form differently than that of gymnosperms. Not super important to what we're talking about here though. Ow, I just hit this with my right there. Gotta be more careful. Conifers are called gymnosperms, which means naked seed. When conifer seeds come out of their cones, they don't have any kind of a fruit or nut surrounding them. It's a naked seed. These gymnosperms, like fir and pine, are wind pollinated. That's one of the reasons firs, pines, redwoods grow so tall. They like to get up above everything else so the wind will blow their pollen, and then the other tall trees are more likely to catch it. 
whereas the angiosperms, the broadleaf trees, don't typically grow as tall. These are flowering plants. They grow blossoms that are usually pollinated by bees, insects, other animals. They don't need to grow as tall. They tend to grow slower. The conifers are typically more of a faster growing wood. They like to grow up fast, so they're up above everything. And because they're a faster growing wood, it's usually a softer wood. Whereas the broadleaf trees tend to be slower growing. They have a different cellular structure. They're able to grow slower, produce a more dense hard wood. And of course there are exceptions to these. There are some hardwoods that grow really fast. There are some softwoods that grow really slow. And then there's the ginkgo. I'm not even going to get into the ginkgo. A ginkgo is actually one of these, but it acts like one of these. Forget about the ginkgo. If you're looking for a wood that's actually hard, knowing whether it's classified as a hardwood or a softwood might not actually help you out much. If you want to know if a wood is actually hard or soft, there's a simple way to tell. All you have to do is use a simple tool we all have available to us now. Al Gore says he invented it a few years back. It's called the internet. All you have to do is do a search for Yanka hardness table. Some people call it Janka because it's spelled funny, but that will give you a table of the different hardnesses of different types of wood. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Some people are probably going to want to argue with me in the comments. They're going to say, no, hardwoods are wood that are hard. Softwoods are wood that are soft. That's okay, but I suggest you look it up first. There are some people who will say, softwoods come from evergreen, hardwoods come from deciduous. That's actually not entirely true. There's also a lot of confusion about what evergreen, deciduous, and broadleaf means. Maybe we'll do a video about that, but for now, see ya.